Do you want to get your game from looking like this to looking like this? A lot of you guys have been asking for my color settings. So in this video, I'm going to take you through my graphic and color settings and show you how I get my game looking so bright and vibrant. So a lot of you guys have been asking me for my color settings and how I get my game looking so colorful and vibrant. Now there's two parts of this. The first part applies to both console and PC and the second part applies to only PC. But the first part should help your game look much better than the base game. The default colors, especially on a Sheikah Island, are very dull and gray. But changing these settings will help make it look much better. So what you want to do is go to your settings, head down to interface. And this is for both console and PC. Go to interface, go to color customization. Set your color filter to filter 2. Set filter target to both. And then select both intensity to 100. Um, this will help with the colors, make them a bit more intense, a bit more vibrant. Um, you can also change the color of your pings, enemy pings, and things like that. Uh, I changed mine to purple just because it makes it stand out a bit more. Um, and yeah, that should help. Uh, and you can also change your brightness. I changed mine to 55 or 60, I believe. I can find it. Yeah. Change your brightness. I put mine at 55. Uh, but you can change this, you know, higher or lower. Depends. Uh, it's personal preference. I'm not sure if there are extra settings on your console. You can also change things on your monitor to make it more colorful and vibrant. Like I can do on my monitor. Uh, I actually add a little bit of brightness and contrast on my monitor to make it look a bit better. Uh, now this part is for PC only. But what you're going to want to do is go into your NVIDIA control panel. Make sure your refresh rate and resolution is all uh, matching, of course. Then go to adjust desktop color settings. Uh, by default, brightness will be on 50. Contrast will be on 50. Gamma, I believe, will be at 0.98. Uh, and digital vibrance will be on 50. So what I do, I move my digital vibrance up to 90. Okay. Now, some people go all the way to 100. Um, 100 is a little bit too much for me. Um, but anywhere between around 80, 85 to 100 is a really nice range for those colors to really pop and your game to look much better. Um, I also put my brightness and contrast up to 60, uh, gamma to a plus one, and then it affects all channels. Uh, I don't touch the hue. Uh, apply this. And this applies to your whole PC. So not just Warzone. It applies to everything you do. So when you're watching YouTube, Facebook, uh, when you're doing anything else on your computer, uh, the colors will be much more bright and vibrant. Uh, but when you do open up Warzone, you'll notice a huge difference. Uh, I'm also going to go through my other graphic settings. Now, I've had to re-record this part as I've changed some settings since the video. But uh, I'm just going to scroll through my graphic settings. You guys can uh, copy them if you like, but this is what I use. I normally average around 130 frames in-game. Fidelity FCAS, SMAAT2X, normal, normal, high, low, short, high, very low, bullet impacts on, you can have them on or off, doesn't really matter, shader quality low, off, terrain memory max, on demand text streaming off, uh, that's quite an important one to have off, streaming quality normal, but low, physics and water off, Shadow map normal, screen space shadows off. Low, high, low, off. Off, low, off. NVIDIA reflex low latency. Blah. NVIDIA reflex low latency on. Depth of field, world motion blur, weapon motion blur off. Film grain zero. Field of view at 119. I heard a rumor that 120 makes you lose aim assist, so. Uh, I've just been testing this out. I mean, one point of field of view doesn't really make a difference. So, uh, affected, you want affected on for sure. Wide field of view, uh, third person, 90, max it out. And then you want the camera movement to least 